creating multiple sources of income. This is gonna be a good one. Um, so I guess why why do you need to create multiple sources of income? Um, because if you, I guess you could think of it in terms of just have one and focus on that one and build that one up. Um, for me, and I think for a lot of other people as well that have got multiple sources of income, it's definitely best to have multiple sources. So reason one is it increases your income, right? If you add another income source, you're building your income. Right, that's a it's a pretty um, self-explanatory reason. Um, reason number two: if one of your income sources fails, you have others. Now, this is huge, and especially with um, you know what the world is nowadays, and everyone losing jobs and whatever. If you had another source of income with your job, you your income wouldn't go from X to zero; it would go from X to X. Does that makes sense. Um, yeah, which then obviously helps with reducing emotion. So if you're trading, for example, let's say you're trading, you have a job and you have another source of income. Um, having those sources of income helps reduce the emotion of your trading, which in return makes you more money. So um, not only having an income source increases your income, but it also helps your other incomes as well. Now this might have changed um, when I last have researched into this, which was five years ago, six years ago. Um, I think the average millionaire had seven income sources. Now this has probably changed uh, because I haven't looked at it in years, but um, you know the concept still applies: building mul multiple sources of income up, and then over time that scales. Reason number five, which I think is the last one, um, focus. So if you were to have um, multiple sources of income, you will automatically forget sometimes about one of them, right? Um, if you've got stocks, you've got crypto, you've got real estate, you've got, um, well, we're gonna get onto the hand in a sec. Um, so if you've got these multiple sources, you're going to forget about some. Therefore, it can com compound easier because there's less chance of you uh, exiting positions, uh, selling the house, selling blah, blah, blah. Um, so it has time to compound, right? So, yeah. So I guess now, let's say you want some sources of income. How do you actually create it? Right, how do you go out there and create multiple sources of income? Now I've done this in steps, okay? I might have missed some steps, but these were the main, one, main ones that I could think of at the time. So step one would be to actually just learn about types of income, right? What types of income are out there? I've made a quick image for you. So I'm not gonna go over every single one of these. So you can just screenshot this if you want to screenshot it um and do your own research on these but for me the ones that i'm i kind of um the ones that i'm focusing on right now are obviously earned interest and dividend and well profit i guess for trade happy um but you know those bottom three rental capital and royalty they're also good as well uh some of these do overlap um so yeah you can learn about these now pick one, okay? So pick one of those, whichever one it is. Um, after you've done your research, you know, pick the one that stands out to you the most and learn everything you can about it. Okay, so let's see, let's say, oops, lazy. Let's say you pick, um, let's go with dividend because that's something that a lot of people um, understand. So you pick dividend income, okay? So go on to Google, type in, um, dividend income and it will come up with like an explanation and then just type in um, well I guess there is different types of dividend income so have a look at those as well um, 
and just go onto YouTube and type in Dividend Income Explained, Dividend Income Basics, um, and just learn every single thing that you possibly can from basic up to advanced about that one thing. So once you've done that, wait, what the hell? Oh, those two are the same. Oh, okay, weird. Um, step four, start slow, test, and see if it works. So if you were to pick dividend income, for example, you learn everything about it, whatever, you start it, and it doesn't work for you, right? It doesn't work because of something. You might not have enough capital, um, it might take take too much time for you, it might, it might be stressful, it might not be what you expected it to be. If that is the case, go back and pick another one and repeat the process, right? Let's say you liked it. So the first thing I would do is start slow because you're probably going to fail quite a few times, right? So start slow and build it up over time. Test and learn, test and learn, test and learn. Um, number five or step five. If it works, compound the results. What I mean by this is, if you were to put a thousand pounds into one of those things and it works and you like the return that you're getting, not not just, um, you know, monetary return, but, you know, other returns, because some of those do uh, give you other things. Um, put as much as you possibly can into it, right? Put more time into it, put more money into it, put more resources into it um that's what i mean by compounding because then over time it will then compound more and more and more next step automate it if possible obviously some of those things you're not going to be able to automate a lot of them you are going to be, be able to automate um so automate it right if you've got dividend income try and automate it somehow right if it's stocks that is super super easy to automate there's loads of platforms out there um, where you put money in and every single time you get a dividend it will re-auto invest done you've automated it cool and the last step repeat once you've automated it go back to this one or this one step one and learn about the types of income pick another one so you've done uh, dividend income now right you've done that you've learned about it you've automated it cool set that aside now go on to profit income learn everything you possibly can about profit income and go through these steps again right da -da 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 -da. done 